you know, I heard it so brilliantly said one time, um, it was a guy and he said that men's brains are broken up into boxes, right? And so there's, you know, there's your sport box, there's your work box, there's your wife box, you know, your kids box. And when you are in that box, you are thinking about that box and you're not thinking about any of the other boxes. Well, women, our brains are like a ball of wire and everything is connected. And so when we have one thought, it's like dominoes falling, right? And it's one thought after the other, after the other. And that's how we have 1,200 thoughts going through our mind at all times. Um, but another thing that he said was men have a nothing box. And you as men can actually go into this box and think about nothing, which would be a dream for a woman. I mean, because we would love to be able to turn our brains off, but we just can't because we weren't created that way. Well, I can't tell you how many clients that I work with where their coach, you know, their advice is, you know, oh, don't think about it. Or, you know, um, you know, from the swimming world, I remember a coach saying, you know, if you're feeling so much anxiety behind the blocks, don't go behind the blocks. He said, you know, go into the warm down pool and just swim and don't think about anything. And then right before your event, jump up, you know, and, and go. And I, you know, when he said, don't think about anything, you know, when she told me he said that, that was my red flag. I'm like, we don't think about nothing. So, so I, you know, I had to challenge her and say, you know, you need to wake up and start thinking, what are you thinking when you're in the warm down pool? Cause you're thinking about something, you know, as a woman, I know that's a fact. And um, she came back and she's like, I'm thinking the exact same thing that I am when I'm behind the blocks. And I was like, exactly, because location doesn't change that, you know? So I think that often what men are missing, you know, when, when women come um, to speak about their fears or to say they're nervous or to speak about their doubts, they give them advice that would work for them. But the problem is that advice doesn't necessarily work for us all the time. And so really men understanding that what would work for you doesn't mean um, that it's going to work for us. And then the second huge difference between men and women is because men are so simple, when they have a problem, they go, they want advice so they can fix it and be done with that, be done with it. With women, we don't necessarily even need a fix. We just need to speak it out because often our solution is in here, but it's way down deep in here and we just need to talk it out to bring it out. But so often when we go to a man where we just kind of want them to listen and let us speak, they just want to throw out advice and fix it. So I think male coaches um, stop trying to give out advice all the time and um, just listen Yep. And then also, please be aware that, you know, advice that works for you may not work for a woman. So start asking questions to help your female athlete figure it out for herself. Because we have the answer. It just takes speaking about it and getting the right questions to bring it out in us.